welcome to this week's Property Marketing Monday. So this week I want to look at are professional photographs in your marketing really worthwhile? Is it worth the expense? Or actually, are you just as well taking a few quick photos on your phone? So let's talk through this because <clears throat> you might think, well, we're property photographers, so we're definitely going to say yes. But we're also all landlords <clears throat> at Landlord Photography. So I want to talk through it and I want to sort of show you the difference. So what I've done today is I've picked on our Newcastle office. So what I'm going to do is this is just our homepage, <clears throat> landlordphotography.co.uk. Go check out our website. And you can see lots of photos from various different team members <clears throat> spread across the home page. But then if you go to the office pages, you can then <clears throat> see the work from those individual offices. So Newcastle. So I've already got our Newcastle offices page open here. And here's some of the work. So what you'll see here, you'll notice one thing in common against all these photos. And we you know, intentionally put a range of different photos here. But what you'll notice is they're all super bright. They're all super colourful. <clears throat> you can see through the windows nicely. And they're just nice, clean shots. So that's what we're doing here. So let's have a look. So because I'm looking at the Newcastle office, <clears throat> I'm on the right move. And I've picked on Newcastle and I'm on spare room. Now... <clears throat> This is where people can get it a bit wrong, is they might go, well, you know what, for HMO rooms, because that's what's mainly what's advertised on spare room, you know, they're a lot cheaper product. Why would you bother with professional photos? You're not renting out a £5,000 a month property. Well, in some cases you can be, because if you've got, say, a 10-bedroom HMO at renting out £500 a room, <clears throat> then... You are at £5,000 a month. You've just got to get more people interested. You need more click-throughs, potentially. So with HMOs, we do a lot of work in the HMO market. <clears throat> and the reason for that is that actually professional photos can be an investment. And it usually works out to be less than three days. So if you fill a property, so each of the rooms get filled three days quicker than if you just used your normal photos um, because you're going to get more click-throughs with professional photos and we can show you why in a bit but all you need to do is fill the property three days quicker and the photos are paid for themselves <clears throat> and we we far outdo that most of the time so anyway let's look first of all at spare rooms so in here i've just got rooms for rent newcastle upon time this area only so what we'll do is let's have a look at a few of these images and we can sort of have a look to see if they're professional photos or whether they are <coughs> um, done themselves by the landlord. Now, what I do want to say is that the only reasons I've picked the Newcastle office is I wouldn't recognise our Newcastle office's work. OK, so even if there is photos here from our Newcastle office, I wouldn't know about it, so I can't really be accused of being biased towards them, okay? <clears throat> so I want to go on to the next page. Now, really, if you're on page two, that's that's an issue anyway, but let's just open up a few more. So generally, some of these photos haven't appeared too bad, um, but let's have a quick look through them. So the first thing that hits me there <clears throat> with that photo, and don't forget, that is the photo that is the main thumbnail. So it's what people are seeing on the search results. And the photo on the search results really should be the best photo. It should be the one that's super bright, super colourful, really shows the room or the property at its best. And people are going to want to click on it. And that's why uh, with professional photography, if you're dealing with a photography company that understands property, we'll always work to get you photos that are going to get you more click-throughs because <clears throat> we're not taking photos that are artistic value we're not taking them to put in magazines we're taking them for you to put them on the portals so that you are getting more click-throughs you are getting more interest in your property and ultimately you're filling in your properties quicker and you're making more money so this one here <clears throat> it's a bit dark um, I would say it's not used a wide-angle lens 
and it's just made it look very small bedroom so if you use a wide angle lens you've got more there but so say what's good about it is the whites are quite white so the white balance is quite good you can see through the window which is quite good it just needs a bit more color they've had a go at dressing um <clears throat> i think the white towels here get a little bit lost if i'm honest but hey but but i would guess that this wasn't a professional photographer that took that shot so now if we go to the next shot again it doesn't appear to be a wide angle lens and that Bar frames are, are, are a challenge, don't get me wrong, <clears throat> okay, because quite often, especially in HMOs, they're very small, um, especially if they're on suites, so they've tried to cram in as much as possible in a little space, but there are tricks you can do, and professional property photographers, those that specialise in doing property photography, <clears throat> know those tricks, so to me, this doesn't really tell you a lot, that photo. That photo there, <clears throat> now, we don't know if that's got a window with a nice aspect. If it has, I'd be trying to get that in the view, in the photo there. Um, I'm not sure I particularly like the angle of the shot, but again, I don't know what's just outside of the shot. So there might be a reason why they've chosen that exact angle. And I'm not quite sure I like the height of the positioning um, of that shot. You're, it seems to be well below the worktop height. Okay, and... That one there, the window could be a little bit better. But <clears throat> generally, I would say this one here is very dark. So I would say generally that this was not done by a professional property photographer. Okay, so that's that one. Let's go through some more. Now, I don't know which one's here. I haven't gone through these previously. So, but this one here, wow, okay. It's nice and bright. Um, I don't know if it's just the, the net curtains, but um, the window does appear to be a little bit blown out. Um, it's a living landlord, so but it says rooms to rent, so I'm not sure if it's professional let or not. But let's have a look through some of these photos. Okay, bluish sky. We would probably, to be honest, put a different sky on that just to make it a bit more appealing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, not too sure what they're trying to show with that picture. It doesn't seem to be a particularly wide angle shot unless they're trying to hide things. <coughs> Again here, nice light here. Um, window looks a little bit blown out. Whites look quite white, if perhaps even a bit too far there. <clears throat> but I like the way, actually, it's light all the way into the corridor here. Because quite often what you'll get is that that will be a bit dark. So it's nice that they've got that nice and light there. Now this is one of my real bugbears. So if we go back to the last picture, <clears throat> that's on landscape. Suddenly I've skipped a portrait. That's just a real bugbear of mine. Um, this here again, the window link seems a little bit blown out. Um, you can see a bit of definition behind the cur net curtains, but I'm glad to see I can't see the photographer in the mirror there. <clears throat> and I think I probably might have made that bed, but it's not too bad. So I again, I'm going to guess <clears throat> that this is uh, not a professional photographer, but they've not done a bad job. So stunning double room. Okay, so have they made it look stunning? Um, well, I'd argue no, because it's a bit dark here. That light's a bit blown out there. And actually, it does look like a really nice room. And they've gone to a lot of effort and attention to detail with the dressing. But it's just all a bit dark, um, which I just think is a real shame. So here, like, I, I can't really tell where the bed ends and the carpet starts. Um, it's just a bit dark. But, you know, and this is why I think it's a real shame. Because <clears throat> what they've done is they've spent a lot of time, effort and probably money on dressing the property. And they've done a beautiful job of dressing the property. And if we look in this photo here, to me, this is a much um, better photo here. Um, some people say why haven't they taken it from a corner but actually I quite like the way they've taken it in the middle of the room there and the way they've positioned things here either intentionally or accidentally that they get framed by having things both sides so I actually quite like that shot and I could quite easily credit that to a professional photographer um, don't know if it is this one here I'm trying to look to see if I can see the reflection of either the flash or the photographer anywhere 
I don't seem to be able to maybe down here not sure <clears throat> but the kitchens are a bit of a problem lots of shiny surfaces quite a nice shot um, again it seems to be a bit low if I'm being honest but hey I've seen worse um, see to me that shot doesn't really show you an awful lot actually and it would appear they've taken it at night which I don't know I, I'm not a big fan of um, and if they use a slightly wider angle lens maybe because maybe there's a settee here maybe there's a brick wall maybe you have to stand and lean against the wall to watch the telly I assume not but who knows bathroom actually as bathroom shots go that's actually quite nice <clears throat> and the, where they stood here it means that they're not getting reflected into the shower here again it looks like it's been taken at night it would be nice to get a bit more natural light coming through there. But to be honest, in bathrooms, because you'll often get frosted windows anyway, um, that can be limited anyway. So, But yeah, generally quite a nice job. Again, it's done at night. It's all a bit dark. We're kind of losing the fridge here a little bit into the floor. But hey, not bad. Seen a lot worse. Happy or money back guaranteed. Right, okay, well, let's have a look at this one. So here... Yeah, this one, it's I would say it's a nice amateur looking shot. Um, it's it's not too dark, but you kind of lose definition over here. Um, I probably would have lightened it up a bit. I probably would have reduced the shadows a bit um, and just generally brightened it up a bit more. White balance doesn't seem to be too off. They haven't um, transformed this, so you can see that it looks like the where the walls meet here at the door. It almost looks like the floor is going uphill to meet. Um, so I'd suggest that there probably wasn't a professional photographer and again here this room looks a bit of an odd shape but it's probably not it's probably a rectangle but it just looks a bit odd um, yeah because the light I'm assuming that's light coming in for a window there it looks like it's a lived in HMO so that's always a struggle because you've got people's stuff everywhere and especially at the moment people don't want you touching their equipment so that's always going to be a challenge but again I'm not sure the angle of that lens so whether a wider angle lens could have done a better job there. Um, this room here. I'm wondering if this is actually a tenanted room. Because I'm not sure personally I would use that duvet. Um, and a yellowy sheet underneath for dressing a room. I probably would have put some stuff on the desk. Um, and it's just a little bit weird here what's going on. I don't know if they've got a flash point here. But it's a bit weird light wise. So... I haven't yet seen any that I go, wow, they're, they're really fantastic. So let's carry on. <clears throat> so that to me looks very dark. Um, I'll go back to the original one here. It makes it look very narrow. Um, again, I'm not a fan of the portrait. Um, window's blown out, but it's dark here. This is very much an amateur photo. It's not really showing you much unless you're a real fan of old gas heaters. Um, yeah that to me this is a really good example <coughs> of where a landlord is leaving money on the table to my mind because <coughs> th you know this just looks dark and dingy where most bathrooms are actually super bright <coughs> yeah again another dark bedroom not very well dressed but again if it's tenanted that's always a problem a bare mattress well at least i can't see any stains on it so that's i suppose one benefit but again very dark and we're back to the living room just at a different angle yeah so i think that this is actually quite a good example of where <clears throat> they could actually really benefit from professional photos let's have a look at this one here okay oh so blown out here tight on the bed so it makes it look like there's only a bed in the room now this is a living landlord so the thing with living landlords is quite it's just a spare room so they're not necessarily going to get professional photos um yeah th that's probably the, the better photo again it's portrait that it's not great so but where they live in and it's just renting out a spare room quite often <clears throat> you, you see those sorts of level of photos but ultimately they're going to be competing against professional landlords so They've either got to reduce the price to entice people or they've got to improve their marketing offering, I would suggest. 
<clears throat> okay, so this one here, again, not a very wide angle lens, bit dark here, bit bright there, not very balanced light. <clears throat> yeah, it's just a bit dark. Or another bare mattress, but again, at least we can't see any stains on it. <clears throat> but this is another living landlord, so let's try and not go to any more living. So that's another living. <clears throat> similar issues by the looks of it okay so <clears throat> that was spare room so th what i would take away from that is that actually if you went on to that market with really good professional photos you're really going to stand out actually because there's none of those that we've been through there that i was super impressed with and so if i'm not super impressed with them the tenant's probably not going to be super impressed with them so <clears throat> what they're more likely to do is click on your photos on your main thumbnail image in the search results and someone else's <clears throat> so i'd say there's a real opportunity in that market now whereas if i chose a different market so let me say i'll just try and give you an example so i'll do this off the cuff i hope this works out i'm going to go to reading so it's another market that is near me and i know it a bit better and usually you do get better levels of photos so here quite bright photos for example um some is played with that but that sky is obviously a fake sky <coughs> not particularly brilliant but generally you know they're quite bright quite nice okay none really standing out here maybe this one here but yeah so in certain markets, it really gives you an even better competitive advantage because nobody else is really doing it. And it looks like that Newcastle market is one of those. So let's go to a right move. <clears throat> so now we're looking more at whole properties probably than um, house shares. So let's have a look here. So that's quite a nice shot. Let's have a look at that one. Um, okay, so let's have a look at these few. So that sky is okay um, because of that cloud there. I might have been inclined to replace it, but that's quite a nice shot. You can see through the windows, quite a nice balance of light. I might have made it a little bit brighter um, just because it helps it stand out on the portals. Again, nice shot, nicely prepared property. Um, oh, this looks a bit. This one looks a bit blurry. I was going to say that I thought these were professional photos. Um, but this one I'm not so sure about. Because I'm not altogether sure where they focused on this shot. Um, it's quite nice. So generally I quite like these ones. Um, again, maybe a little bit dark. But as we can see, probably a lot better than we've seen when on spare room. So let's go to this next one here. Right, okay, so that shot there is, uh, I'm probably going to get murdered now by estate agents, but that is what I call a standard estate agent shot. Stand in the corner, hold the camera up a bit high, tilt it down, take a shot. Now, <clears throat> I call them security camera shots, and I do do them. I do them in tight bathrooms, but I hold the camera a lot higher. I hold it as high as I can above my head, angle it down, and sometimes it's the best you can do in very tight spaces like small bathrooms. <clears throat> But in this one, I'm not so sure. Oh, there's so someone's hand in the shot here. Um, yeah, I think enough said about that. The best, less said about it, the better, I think. And also as well, uh, this extension lead here, why couldn't that have been tucked away? Maybe smarten up that little bit. I've got, I've got no issue with leaving the remote control there. It shows lifestyle. Again, here the bed's not made. Just some real missed opportunities with this one so i was being picky with that last property but actually compared to this that it really sets apart so let's have a look at some more let's go to this one um let's go to this one right these look very bright i would say these are probably a professional photographer and let's have a look at these ones as well and let's have a look at this 
So I, this shot here, let's just talk about because I love those sorts of shots um, where you go down low and you angle up. It makes the properties look an awful lot more imposing than they really are. So that looks like quite a grand imposing building anyway. I've used it on very small houses which aren't imposing at all and it still it works well with them as well. But anyway, let's look through now some of these. Okay, so this one here, very dark bathroom, all this clutter here. Um, dark not a great angle but hey you know to say the benefits of it here they have got the towel rail in they have got the sink in the bath and the toilet so you can actually see it is a bathroom but i would say this is not a professional photographer doing these ones um okay at least it's a tidier one here now because of the roof here that might be a limitation on what they could and couldn't do but it's not really telling me an awful lot this shot Okay, this looks like it's not a wide angle lens. A um, bit dark down here, so like you almost lose that. I think I'm wondering if these desk here is a little bit blurry. Yeah, I don't particularly like that shot, if I'm honest. Again, here, dark. Don't like the angle, but it does look like it's quite a lot of clutter in here, so it might have been very difficult for them. But, I, yeah, I would say this is probably an agent taking the photos themselves quite quickly. So there's that one. Right, interesting they decided to pull the blinds down here. That would suggest to me that the garden's probably a mess. It might be that the photos were taken when they'd finished doing the house, but maybe they hadn't landscaped the garden. Um, but that's always a um, big sort of telltale sign to me. Now, they've dressed this property quite well. Um, just not sure how sharp that image is. It looks... It's nice composition, anything else, I'm just not quite sure how sharp it is. I might have made it a bit lighter around here. Uh, and the fact you've got these blinds pulled isn't going to help with the natural light, because it looks like there's some good natural light seeping in underneath here. Again, they've pulled the blinds all the way down. I'm, I, I really wonder what they're hiding out there. Um, quite a nice shot. Um, nicely dressed. It's not something quite right here with the light, but okay, is what it is. I'm trying to see if I can see the photographer anywhere. No, I don't think I can. So quite a nice shot. So this may well be professional photos. There's some of the bits there that I'm not quite sure about, but it's a nicely presented property. Okay, this one here interesting angle on this one here i wonder i might be more inclined to come over here a bit more wonder why they've chosen this angle um i can't see if you can actually see the photographer or the camera in the oven door um or over here okay not not a bad photo um sometimes bathrooms can be a bit difficult um, I, again, I think just with the shadows here, uh, I might have made it a little bit brighter. But generally, not not bad. Get oh, a bit dark here, kind of losing the definition of everything over here. And it's a bit bright here in the window. So, yeah, this just looks a bit dark to me. A bit dark, blown out windows. That would suggest to me this wasn't a professional photographer. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah that there. Um, that to me is really letting down that that property, uh, that shot there. Okay, so here, like super bright. This is what I've been talking about. I'm glad we've seen this one now. So super bright, maybe even a bit too far. Now, for me to say something's too bright is quite amazing, really. But I think they might have just taken it a notch too far on this one. But I would rather go that way than uh, the other way looks like this is all blown out over here so i probably would have pulled that back a bit more um yeah and that just, just feels a bit low there seems to be we've seen a theme haven't we going through this um of going low in kitchens um i would come up a bit higher than that i don't see why they've done it that way but here I, that looks quite a small space. Uh, you see quite a lot of it. You see the main features. So I think they've used a decent lens here. So this could well be a professional photographer that's taken this one. Um, I wonder if that there is where they've tried to um, hide 
the, the camera but I'm wondering if that's actually the photographer there um, in the shot if it is it's not not brilliant um, and all you need to do for that is just change your angle slightly so you're not in those shots so this is a bit blown out up here and it's a bit too bright actually these ones so better but I just think in the execution on those ones maybe see something a, a bit better um, here nice and bright maybe a bit bright up here but if they've got lights above here that's going to be quite a challenge quite nice yeah so that's those ones so let's just want to go to this one because I like that shot there going up tight it's nice that just looks a bit blurred that also looks a bit blurred so does that yeah these just look blurred these are not great photos um I like the composition of them but the actual end quality photos don't seem to be that brilliant so I wonder what's gone on there so now I'm going to take you back to our web page and look at the Newcastle office so the criticisms that I was saying on previous shots so here you can't see the photographer anywhere in that shot so let's go into it um, super bright but you've got the definitions Okay, so there's no dark shadows here. They've taken those down. Or Michael, who took this photo in our Newcastle office. Um, but you can you, you can see where things start and end. And it's very nice. That one there, again, this angle, really bright, but it's not taking it too far. You can still see the definition of where the ceiling and the uh, walls meet. Again here, and it's got a nice got the reflection here of the bed. But you can't see Michael in the shot. Um, it's just a nice bright light photo. Okay, this one here. Super bright there. Sort of more of a mood photo, this one here. Quite nice. And then in there as well. Nice bright space there. And it's balanced the light. So that will be a darker area there. But they've balanced that light quite well. And this here shows that kind of living, walking out into the inside outside space. So, hopefully, you've seen a real difference in some of the photos and some of the things I've explained. Hopefully, you'll see where professional photos and um, I'm just going to say non professional photos, where you can see a real difference. And if we're in a competitive market, and the buyers and tenants have got a choice and they've got lots of properties to look at on the portals. So, for example, here, how many rooms to rent in Reading? Um, nearly a thousand. So that's a lot to choose from. So really, you want to make sure that your photos really grab the people. So as they're scrolling down here, they just stop and go, oh, look at that look at that one and they want to click on your photo they want to look and they're drawn in by the photo and they haven't looked at the price because really the way to stand out is either on great photos on the search results or the price because that's the main two things people are looking at okay once they know the area they want to be in they're going to look at the price and the photos and if you're competing on price that's a very expensive way of competing so I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's kind of given you some more insights into the value and the investment in professional assets, visual assets in your property marketing. We've spoken solely about photography today, but obviously the same goes for 360 virtual tours, etc.